Well, folks, we are back. Darnell Farms Fall Edition here in Bryson City. And I want you to look at the people. This is more than it was here last time. So, good luck to us finding parking. But we're going to go out here today and see what they got going on for the fall. So stay tuned for another Darnell Farms adventure. Back at Darnell Farms, this is now the fall, and they changed things up a little bit. They got a lot of pumpkins out here. Vendors still set up today. Um, I don't know what they got going on here. We thought they were gonna have bluegrass music. Let me go over here and give y'all the rundown of the things they do during the fall. Would you like to help me, sir? Come on up, let's have a big round of applause for our helper! Young sir, young sir, what is your name? Asher, Asher, have you ever helped the magician before? Hey, Ron, fucking pack. You're going to help me with today. Apparently, they got something going on for the kids up here now. A little kids show. Asher, do you have an elephant here today? I don't know what that is about. Don't worry, Asher. You see, I've got an elephant right here. Well, have an elephant. Apple nachos sounds interesting. Get all the pumpkins. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Darnell Farms presents Asher the Magician. Apparently, that little kid show they got going on behind is a magician show of some sort. Big old bunch of mums there. Alright, so they got a lot of tents set up. I was actually surprised that there's no food vendors out here today. Last time I think we were here, there was a barbecue uh, trailer and there was also hamburger and hot dogs. So I haven't seen anything like that today. Huh? So those people are eating stuff. Nice blanket. There might be something around back, I don't know. Or maybe in there where the dream would. Don't they have, that's right, they have sandwiches in there, I think. Oh, do they? Takasiki River back here. Takasiki, not Siki. Over here is the hayride waiting area. Yeah, so you still want to do the hayride today? No, I don't want to do the hayride. It's waiting that long. Look at the red truck. That's pretty. Oh, you wanted to do the corn maze, didn't you? Neck pumpkins. All right, let's go try these fall flavors of Dream Whip. If they're anything like the summer flavors were, it's out of this world. Huh? Oh yeah, those get big. That's actually your old timey uh, pie pumpkins that uh, people used to grow. The neck pumpkins, is what they call. Them. They make good pies. Line up for floats and dream print. Right, right here. Move on now. Let me get a better view here. How old is he? Oh, he's still there. Looks like the pumpkin spice one is dairy and the others are non dairy. 21. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, what can I get you? Last 
Okay, here are the fall flavors of Dream Whip. They do still have the pineapple. They don't have the other ones that they had in the fall. So I wanted to try the caramel green apple and the pumpkin spice. So I got the pumpkin on the bottom, caramel green apple on the top. And Shasta, tell them what you got here. Butterscotch. Well, that's not what it's called. It's called butter beer. I don't and, have beer uh, in it though. She actually asked him, yeah, make sure it didn't have beer in it. But anyway, it's just basically butterscotch. I've already tried it. Uh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> I went up in line to get them. So what do you think of that? That is amazing. All right. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it compared to, what did you get last year? Pineapple. Did you get pineapple both days last mm -mm. two months ago when we were here? Thing. I got, the first time I got the pineapple with the, um, I don't know if I got two kinds or not, but I know I got pineapple with pineapple chunks and blackberries. Okay. And then the second time, I think I got the blackberry kind in it with different fruit in it. Okay. And I've liked all of them so far, so that's very So good. how does that compare? Um. Yeah, you can try mine too if you want to. I mean, this is just as good as those are. Really? Yeah, I think all so. All right. So I'm going to try mine here. like the caramel green apples on top. Now, if they're going to top the ones we got it in the summertime, it's really going to be good. So we're going to find out here. It's basically green apple flavored ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, Non-dairy, but yeah. It's really, really good. Um, Mine tastes almost like a, a frozen butterscotch pudding. I will not say that this is better than the summer because I don't think anything could be. Yeah, those were really good, but I'm really liking this butterscotch. I like butterscotch anything. I would say these Dream Whips are one of the best desserts you ever get. Oh yeah, they are amazing. And they're still having it in the fall. I don't know if this place is even open all year round. I don't know if they do Dream Whips in cold weather like December. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they do Christmas flavors, who knows. Uh, boy, peppermint Dream Whips oh, would be good. Yellow jacket hanging around your face. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, really good. The green apple is, I haven't gotten to the pumpkin yet. so. Anyway. Yellow Jackets are really loving my butterscotch cup, so they can't be wrong. There's that many bees can't be wrong. No, they can't. So what you thinking of the pumpkin flavor now that you got down there to it? I think my favorites in order is the pumpkin, followed closely by your butterscotch, and then the caramel apple will be my third. They're all good. That's just my personal order i think i like the summer flavors a wee bit better but these are still worth getting. oh yeah absolutely and but butterscotch is, my, is almost like a frozen butterscotch pudding. we got the large i want to say it's the small cup looks small but they they don't just fill up the top i mean it's yeah. up above the cup even in the small well size. worth it yeah even yeah. for a small these are 6.98 and the small is 4.98 we just don't get them very often so i got a large yeah uh oh, we got one being stuck down there in it. I really want him to die. He's in caramel now. We'll get him out. I don't want to get out of it. So we've got a honeybee here. Was he drunk on caramel? Well, or? he's stuck in it. I saved his life. He was stuck in oh, the bottom of her cup. My cup. Yeah, I got him out with a spoon. I have a soft spot for anything living. Um, yeah, I didn't want him to just sit yeah. there and be miserable. And uh, I tried to get him out. I guess now he's going to have to clean himself off. He's got caramel on the yeah, behind. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to his little antennas and whatnot. So hopefully he'll be all right. Hopefully so.
of salvation from the fall. I'm an heir to wealth and glory. My father owns it all. That's why I'm shouting at me. They go with his command. For I want to be ready to meet him in glory land. I want to be ready to meet him by and by. I want to be ready to meet him in the sky. Oh, I want to be more like him to his blessed land. Really good to be here. We hope you've enjoyed something we've we've uh, we've played for you. This is an old song that's. Uh, gosh, I don't even know how old this song is. It's. Uh, I've teased Bobby over here. Bobby's a Southern gospel guy, playing with a bluegrass gospel band. Hey, you guys like bluegrass music? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't care I'm mad at myself. Let's just try to get through this, okay? <laughs> get him off stage. Why are you here? <laughs> Now listen to the listen to the song. It's a great song.
Savior I stand, will there be any stars in my everybody what you have arranged for us to do corn maze corn maze yes. okay we're doing the corn maze <laughs> that was how much a person ten ten dollars a person to get lost in the cornfield so that's what we're going to go do now they've taken away the little sunflower I know. props I, I take it this is the corn maze down here okay. all right so Hopefully we'll make it back out of here in a reasonable amount of time. What is this? It's half a mile in, half a mile out. Yeah. Okay. I've never done this before. I, I never it'd have be, either. That'd be something fall time to do. All right. Well, I'm sure it'll be a blast. Let's go. Down there is the sunflower thing. Oh, See yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. Okay, folks, here we go. And <laughs> I'm going to follow you through here. Well, this is going to be a team effort. Yeah, they may have to send out the search and rescue. One thing that's impressive is the size of the ears here on this. This is actually filled corn, I guess, not sweet corn. There's some really, really big ears. Actually, some tall, some of the stalks are 10 feet tall or better. So we've come to a junction here. Just like following the yellow brick road, not knowing which way to go. Huh? We're guessing that it's this way. Yeah, we're going back the way we came. Maybe I'd use that map. Okay, so far all we're doing is reversing direction every few hundred feet. <laughs> so, we don't have any idea if we're going the right way or not. I have the map. It's a tough map to read though. already hit a couple of dead ends but okay I don't know what these numbers mean I guess those are guides that's the second one we've come to as indicated by the number two um, I guess those are guides to let you know you're on the right path so, so evidently we ain't lost yet which is very surprising considering I'm fo following well never mind what? nothing nothing you're doing fine so I'm telling you, these are some big corn stalks. Well, not so much right here, but some of these are over 10 feet tall, I think. Now we're going back the way we came. Okay, show us where we're at on the map now. Well, uh oh, too long of a silence. That worries me. She doesn't know. We just did that, and let's. Hold it out of the shadow a little bit. No, out. Yeah, there you go. So where do you loop? think we are? Well, I thought we just crossed that little loop unless we're right there. So in other words, we're about halfway through it. Yeah, I don't think we're, we're getting there. closer to that mountain. So there's not a foot track around that. So well, that's just a circle right there. Yeah. Right, so it's got to be this way. Okay, so Three, 
I guess that means we're on the right track now. What do we do? Follow the brown, dusty path. Yeah, it looks like people's taking both though. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay, we made we it. We literally did it. There you go. We did it. Good job. We made it. All right, let's tell them about this. Come to Darnell Farms today for the fall activities. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of vendors. We've walked our dream whip off, let me put yeah. it that way. <laughs> the dream whip was delicious. Um, a lot of... Still like the summer flavors a little better, but these yeah, were still is, really good. Butterscotch was really good. Um, a lot of vendors, they had a lot of mums and pumpkins. Um, Some good bluegrass. I could have sat and yeah. listened to that bluegrass gospel group all day. Yeah, a lot of people are here. I'm a fan of the Primitive Quartet. They're uh, retiring after 50 years of ministry this year. But these guys that were out here today were actually really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. But, um, so. I mean, it was a real fall, real festive feeling today. Um, yeah. I did want to do the corn maze. Yeah, that was why she got that look. <laughs> uh, we just got out of the corn maze. So what the lady told me was it's a half a mile in, a half a mile out. And she, she did, lied. It was about eight miles. <laughs> we were behind this spam and the little boy, bless his heart, he was like, oh, and he's just yeah. kicking up dirt. He was getting kind of frustrated with Honestly, it. Honestly, I mean, you would, you didn't, you come to some place you didn't know whether to go left or right, and it would round a curve and be a dead end. Finally, I actually do have a little Cherokee in my ancestry. That's true. And finally that started kicking in. Plus I've watched a lot of Walker, Texas Ranger. And, um, I started realizing that I could look at the footprints on the ground and since there's only one way through I started realizing that if you've got footprints going both ways that means it's a dead end because people had to come back so uh, if there's only one way through the footprints ought to be going one way so we started following the footprints due to my bright idea we'd still be in there probably actually just follow the family out we happened to catch up to people who were ahead of us. We did not follow them out. I'm They'd still be in there too if it wasn't for me. Actually, uh, he did come up with following the footprints, and we did. I did. So. Did come across, and we, that did come helpful. You know, it's like okay, which yeah. way are they going? Because you saw footprints going both directions, you knew that was the wrong way. Right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we just happened to come up on a family that was having trouble, so uh, we did not follow anybody <laughs> out. In fact, we actually exited before they did. You left out that little detail, but anyway, they did come out right behind us. Mm -hmm. But so basically, two families would still be in there if it wasn't for my quick thinking. But anyway, it was it was interesting. I'm 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 good on the corn maze. Yeah, it's, I've never done it before. And yeah, I, I hadn't either. Like I told again. him, I said, yeah. you know, I said I've not really heard of it much. I mean, got family in Minnesota with huge cornfields. I just don't remember corn. I mazes imagine they up would there. do stuff like that up there. Maybe, too. maybe you, you I was just, bound to. Maybe it's because I was so young and I don't remember. But that's a corn maze and a half. It, you could get lost in there. At one point, I thought, you know, I'm just going to make my own path. If needed, yes. Yeah, so I'm uh, sure they wouldn't appreciate that. But, but yeah, I mean, it was fun. But, yeah, it's not something I have to do every year. Yeah, so anyway. Glad uh, we did it, though. Fun place. We're Absolutely. back. This is our third time. We came two days in a row when we were up here in July. Mm -hmm. uh, had to come back in the fall. We actually mentioned that video. We might have to take a Bryson City Day in the fall. Well, mm -hmm. Here we are. We just kind of, yeah, came over here uh, after our drive on the parkway. So it's now almost 5 o'clock. We're going to drive up into the Great Smokies a little bit. And um, just kind of maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll catch a sunset somewhere. We'll see. So we're just going to see where the day takes us. So thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. All right. Thank you.